Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how to load and use dataset from Kaggle. First, open any preferred browser and go to the Google Colab website. Sign in using your account and the main page will be displayed. Here, start by changing the project name at the top and then create a directory named Kaggle. To do this, type exclamation mark mkdir space wavy sign forward slash period kaggle forward slash and run the command. Next, we need to copy the kaggle api json file path. To do this, type exclamation mark cp double apostrophe. Now, open the kaggle website and sign in. Click on the profile icon at the top right corner and select settings from the drop down menu. Scroll down and create a new token. The file will be downloaded automatically. After the file is downloaded, go to your Google Drive and create a new folder. Access the new folder and upload the downloaded file into it. Return to the Google Colab website and click on the file icon. Select the drive feature and mount your Google Drive. Then select the My Drive feature, expand the new folder we created, and upload the .json file. Click on the three dots icon, select Copy as Path, and paste it between the apostrophes in the command. Next, type in wavy sign forward slash period kegel forward slash kegel.json and run the command. In order to set permission for the file, type exclamation mark chmod space 600 wavy sign forward slash period kegel forward slash kegel.json and run the command. Now install the kegel python package using pip by typing exclamation mark python dash m pip install dash qq space kaggle we will now download the data set from kaggle type exclamation mark kaggle data sets download dash d and then go to the kaggle website navigate to the data set section from the left side menu and select one Copy the ending part of the URL and paste it into the callup command. Give it a go and wait for it to complete. Lastly, unzip the dataset file. Type exclamation mark unzip dash qq double apostrophe. Copy the name of the dataset we just added and paste it between the apostrophes. Once done, refresh the side menu and the data set will be unzipped. So that's all for this video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.